Licenses for Selling Flowers Business, Selling Flowers Business Registration. Alice is frustrated and clueless about selling flowers licensing. Alice meets Jack, her future legal licensing mentor. Hey Jack, I am perplexed and confused. What licenses do I need to start a selling flowers business? Do I need state certification? Starting a floral business, what do I need? Florists and floral designers do not need to have any specific credentials to operate. There is no required education, degree, or license specific to this industry. Most businesses do need a license to operate. Flowers are beautiful but The first thing to do to obtain licensing is to select your entity structure, the type of ownership because all other licenses will be registered under the entity's business name and type of ownership, which is why it is crucial you select this first. So, Step 1, Select Ownership Structure from Sole Proprietorship, Partnership, LLC, or Corporation. You need to select an ownership structure first. You can select from sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, or corporation. Alice, my friend, I suggest you file an LLC because the LLC, Limited Liability Company, protects your personal assets or shielded from any liabilities or debts your business may face. You can choose how you want to be taxed either as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or even as an S Corp. I suggest you file an LLC and treat it as an S-Corp for maximum tax benefits. If you don't want to register an LLC, you still may need to register your business name with a DBA, doing business as, company name. Bizname.com Register your LLC or your DBA at, Bizname.com Step 2, Business License, Unlocking the World of Legitimacy Do I really need a business license? I mean, can't I just start selling flowers and call it a day? Ah, uh, Alice, you can't escape the clutches of legitimacy. A business license is like a golden ticket to credibility. It tells the world that you're a serious player in the game. Legitimacy, having a license shows potential clients that you're a professional and not just another random selling flowers person. Compliance, it ensures that you're following regulations and requirements for operating a business. Step 3, Fed EIN and State EIN, Unlocking the Secret Codes EIN? Sounds like a secret agent code. Do I need to join MI6? Oh, Alice, you're a comedian in disguise. An EIN, Employer Identification Number, is like your business's social security number. Fed EIN, if you plan to hire employees or operate as a partnership, LLC, or corporation, the Fed EIN is required. Obtain your EIN at bizname.com. If you are benefiting from this video, please like and subscribe. Remember, licensing is like the key to the kingdom. It opens doors, grants you legitimacy, and protects your interests. May your LLC be your mighty shield as you venture forth. Step 4, State EIN, employers are required to obtain an additional identification number, called the State EIN, to pay employment taxes. We can help you obtain a State Employer Identification Number at this site, bizname.com Since 1999, we have helped small businesses register more than 1 million licenses, LLCs, and tax IDs. Step 5, Sellers Permit, Selling Flowers I Subject to Sales Tax, you will need to obtain a seller's permit to collect sales tax and remit it to the government. If you are benefiting from this video, please like and subscribe. Wow, thanks, Jack. I feel empowered to take on this challenge now. With my trusty LLC by my side, I'll conquer the eyebrow-threading world. Obtain your seller's permit at bizname.com. Bizname.com, fast, affordable, professional. Bizname.com. Hey, Jack, thanks for your advice. I will start registering my business today. Okay, you can obtain all licensing at Bizname.com. Are you ready? If so, just submit one form at Bizname.com. With your business info. 
to start your selling flowers business, bizname.com.